Hi, I'm Erin Fontaine Brunel. Today I'm at Crave Food in downtown Hoyoke shooting episode four of Paper City Eats. Come check them out. Inside Crave Hoyo with Nicole Ortiz, the owner and entrepreneur who started this amazing restaurant, and she's going to tell us a little bit about this place. Crave Hoyo started as Crave Food Truck. Um, we launched in August here in Hoyo. Now we've expanded to the takeout restaurant here at 285 High Street. So we do a lot of tacos, mofongo, um, and salads here at the restaurant, and then there's a lot of tacos and rice bowls at the truck. Where did your inspiration for Crave come from? Um, so I graduated culinary school um, last May 2020. Um, and I knew I wanted to start a food truck, mm -hmm. but I just um, played with the idea for like years, probably like three, four years of like building the menu. Like how do I do this? Yeah, so like I slowly just kind of decided to do tacos, plantain fries, um, all those different things while I was in school, you know, learning about different foods and uh, techniques and stuff like that. And then you went through Spark for Hoyoke, right? To help get you ready to get this place started? Yeah, so I went through um, E for All Hoyoke which was a great program. Um, I just entered the program with the idea of starting the business, and um, they gave me all the tools I needed to be able to launch. What hours are you currently open here at High Street? Um, so we're currently open Thursday through Sunday, 11 to 7 on High Street. And what is the easiest way for people to get you? I know they can call you directly, but are you doing Grubhub or any of those services too? Yeah, so right now the food truck is on DoorDash, and then the restaurant is on Grubhub. Sweet. Um, but we have a website that's um, cravetruckma.com, and then um, we also have social media that's Crave Polio. And so is that the best way for people to know like where you're parking the truck on what day, kind of follow yeah. you on social media and the, you give tips? Yeah, we always post where we are in the hours on Instagram and Facebook. What was your inspiration behind like the creativity and the flavor of food that you're bringing to us? Well, my dad is um, from Puerto Rico, so um, I just like love Puerto Rican food. I love Puerto Rican flavors. But I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit instead of doing like the traditional type of Puerto Rican food um, and just add more like veggies and fruit and uh, fresh ingredients. Um, Cause that's something that's kind of lagging in like traditional Puerto Rican cuisine. So what exactly is on that? Okay, so these are um, green plantains that we cut the shape of fries. Um, and then we top it with all different things. So these are the pork tropical ones. Wow. Um, so yeah, so we put the slow roasted pork on top. Also, um, some mango salsa, some mango green. It's like our take on like you know the regular loaded fries. So I bet the mango adds like that nice fresh pop to yeah, it too. Yeah, definitely. What kind of tacos do we have here? So these are chicken media tacos. Um, so this is like traditionally like a Mexican dish, um, but we just kind of put our own twist on it. It's usually done with goat um, in Mexico, but we do it with chicken, we do it with beef, um, we also do it with jackfruit, and it's served with a side of like the consomme that the chicken is cooked in. Oh, okay, so kind of like an au jus? Yeah, yeah. Okay, much, yeah. So like a dipping sauce? Yep. Oh my god, that yeah, sounds really yeah. good. That's our best seller right there. This is the chicken rice bowl. Um, it has all the same toppings that are on the fries, um, the mango salsa, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, we do a cilantro lime rice too. And then you make these too? Yeah, so these are like, we can barely keep up with the demand for these. That's um, awesome. These are lemonades, so we do like a, a blackberry um, lavender lemonade, and then we also do a mango passion fruit lemonade, uh, strawberry mint, and we're gonna be bringing some more iced teas during the summer and stuff. Awesome. Um, but yeah, people love them. I love the little package too, it fits so perfectly. Yeah, oh, they're oh. adult capri suns, they're great. <laughs> Adult Capri Sun, yeah, that's right. perfect. So do you guys have specials sometimes too? But yeah, we do specials, we like to rotate things, switch things up, you know. Nice. Kudos to you guys for not only opening, but opening during a crazy time. Yeah, right. So, you know, we definitely want to support our local establishments, help people know that you're here, know that you're open and the best way to reach you guys. So it sounds like social media is pretty easy. Yeah, definitely. We'll find you there to stay tuned on where the truck is and all her specials and then just calling and supporting as much as you can with takeout for now. Yeah, definitely. We're on Grubhub, DoorDash, and then you can call ahead too. And then if you don't feel comfortable coming in, we also offer curbside. Uh, oh, wonderful. So That's great. Well. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. make sure you guys follow them on all their social media, like their posts, and then be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below for your chance to enter to win some gift cards to try Crave Hoyo for yourselves. Have a great day.